Hey everybody, it's uh, Eric from Learn Max again, and tonight we're going to add a little bit more functionality to our mono synth. Uh, we're going to vary up the uh, types of waveforms we can use. We have a sawtooth from last time. We're going to add a rectangle as well as the triangle wave. Okay, so we're going to set up three uh, oscillators, uh, so three... Uh, waveform sources, and we're going to use the same frequency. We're using our M2F uh, object again. That's our MIDI to frequency. So now we're going to have the three of those guys, and we need some way to choose between them. So we're going to use our friend the selector object again. We used it down for the filter. Now we're going to use it for the waveform. So each one of those oscillators or the, each one of those wave generators is going to be putting out a signal, and we have to have some way. Uh, basically, we'll wind up using a menu to choose between the three of them. So I route the signals all into the selector, and then the output of the selector into our filter. I get rid of the old uh, uh, connection there. All right. And then I'm going to copy my uh, live menu over here. And let's see, I got to change the parameters in there. You go into the inspector and uh, let's get that out of the way here. Uh, scroll down, you'll see, okay, we're going to replace this with uh, none, which is the first one. We're going to leave that in place. That means no output. And then we're going to put uh, triangle. Uh, we'll call the next one square. That's what you, people are used to seeing. And the last one will be sawtooth. Okay, so those are our three waveform choices. And we'll tuck that out of the way. And, uh, oh, wait, okay. Uh, can't forget to actually connect it up to our selector. And let's give it a try. Triangle. Okay, nice wave. Uh, square. Nice. And sawtooth. Nice and gritty there. Hey, and remember to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the Learn Max tutorials.